PUBG Mobile just wrapped up their 2024 Metro Royale Clash, and in today's video, we got some highlight reels and some funny moments to react to. And if you love Metro Royale content, don't forget to hit the like button, check to make sure you're subscribed, and let's go ahead and hop straight into this. So the first one we've got to check out is the tournament highlights. Yo, that's actually a really nice venue. For the first ever Metro Royale tournament, they put on an actually decent production for this. We're talking about a full stage. You can see over here, there's a band set because they even did a halftime show for this one. I mean, just look at this. This is huge for Metro Royale. A full stage, six teams, lights, camera. They even have an audience here. Big things are coming for Metro Royale for sure. Man, I wish I could have been there, dude. This would have been so epic to get to watch in person. Hopefully one of these days they fly me out for one of these. We're just gonna watch this for you though, Arya. Gonna have to do that rotate by foot and he's getting chased down alone. That means you're gonna be losing a lot of your bullets. I watched this live, so if you want to go back and watch my reaction to the entire tournament, there were some absolutely sweaty fights going down in this one. Like this first one right here, you have Sim 9 versus Brute Force right there by the shop in Old Blockade Zone, and it was sweaty. It was a, it was a slaughter fest. So you've got to be very careful while you play. Here you go, Sim 9. It was big and tough. One, can you get and go for the engage, trying to wrap up this fight. Yeah, he's not going to be able to so be coming down. I mean, they, they got to be careful, actually. They were even taking down bosses and stuff. You see right here, Non-G taking out the fire boss over at the power plant. Like they just want to leave because look at early on and on top of that on some of the other squads. Dude, this must this must have been epic to be there for. Dang. And we got some teams like group fours. They no, might be close by. Yeah, so some of these fights that happened on the two Arctic base matches down here in the tunnels were absolutely a slaughter fest. And especially on the second Arctic base match they had, there was like four teams fighting just in this little tunnel area alone. It was insane. Pesh, the team that was in first place, currently three players. Reading for Brooklyn. Your music, he's in the tunnel, so you can't. But he's still got plays up. Make sure you guys don't do it one by one, though. The full push is going to be coming through. Dude, that's such a hard place to fight right there. I mean, just this screenshot alone, you got Goat Pepesh, Nan Ying, and Sim9 all down in this little tunnel area, trying to fight to get out to radiation. And though the full push is going to be coming through. Significant advantages. All right. Well oh, they were even looting the red crates, too. Look at all these zombies trying to take them out right now. Go, there that. you go. Yeah, let's finish them off first. Loot later. You can own it by brute force oh, again. Work on you if you're not careful. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a big boy. <laughs> oh, in scared. real big trouble. Crazy eliminations. Crazy loot. Yo, look at this massive spread from second to first all the way down to sixth. Brute Force absolutely dominated and they barely even had any player elimination. They were just super good at getting loot and getting out without having to take any risks. And I mean, Voin Esports was climbing up right behind them. You see they got 16 eliminations. That's four times the eliminations that Brute Force got. Maybe if they would have just focused on looting a little bit more. And then you got Gulp Pepesh right here with the 22 eliminations. Even though they only looted 8.6 million, the 22 eliminations almost won them the tournament. If they could have just had one good game where they made it out with like five or six million it would have been ggs man look at this main stage this had to have been epic for these players oh they won sixteen thousand five hundred. i didn't even realize that that's such a load of cash that this team's taken home for the first ever metro royale esports event they dropped fifty thousand dollar prize pool on this which is absolutely insane imagine back in chapter one we all thought you know this is just a mode that's going to get put into the game and taken out because it was a collab but honestly to see how far metro royale has made it over the years is amazing and the fact that they're finally doing esports events i mean this is going to be big fifty thousand dollars for the first tournament just imagine once this is global what they're going to be doing for like kind of like how they do for the pmgc when it's mrgc metro royale global championships how much money they're gonna drop on this i think that was an epic video next we have funny moments episode one and look at this backdrop for this is this some sort of easter egg for what metro royale used to look like before all the wars as you know the story behind metro royale is the one-eyed cobra and the steel front had a massive nuclear war and decimated a lot of cities so this actually might be one of them it would be so cool if metro royale got like a massive city map someday maybe they're hinting at that right here that would be epic now let's check this out funny moments episode one know what they're doing when it comes to zombie okay. uprising here because we got Arya looting the black door right now i mean brute force is <laughs> bro Dude, anyone knows that has played Metro Royale how much loot can be in these two boxes right here. I mean, you could be walking away with like 3 million in loot. Uh, wow. 
a loot, but zero of them. Hello there. Oh, it's on the zombie mode. <laughs> what are you? So when you open this door on the zombie mode on zombie uprising, a horde of zombies comes after you. Yeah, zombies. Oh, he's stuck in here. If I remember correctly, Arya actually got knocked the amount of zombies that rushed them. You gotta get out that room. You gotta get out. Yep. <laughs> Bro. Imagine losing like that in a Metro Royale esports tournament. That had to have been rough. Next, we got Lunatic looting up a red box over in the bay. I'm to give you some pretty significant advantages. I wonder what loot they did get out of that box. Oh, I guess here we go. Water purifier, processor CPU, signal generator, another CPU. Yeah, when you go to open these red boxes, so many zombies come after you. I mean, you could continue looting the box, but it's probably best off jumping away from it really quick, taking out all the zombies, and then and then opening the box up. All right, let's see if that's going to kick. Oh. Lunatic! Oh, yeah, getting swarmed here. He's going for the yeah, there you go. But he left. Now he's... Come on. I mean, and Brute Force had the strats. They won it overall. Oh, man! That's too easy! on him too and sim yo this sim 9 player is literally at 1 hp in a dream right now that is insane i'm just barely staying no alive oh he was about to get the heal off too and you see land from Voin esports <laughs> bro could have put one corroded bullet in him and he would have been done for Jump. all right we got one more episode of this to check out funny moments episode two There were a lot of funny moments that happened during this tournament, so I kind of can guess what a couple of these might be. All right, Nan Ying taking out the boss. Wait a minute. The power plant boss can be pretty ruthless and can actually take off a bunch of your vest health if you don't take him seriously. I'm coming! <laughs> God, these edits are crazy. Ra, ra, ra. Let's go. I'll end you. Go Pabesh Besoka versus Voin Arya right here. You. Try me. <laughs> Yo, if I got taken down to one HP like that from a grenade, oh, dude, I'd be no, running no, away no, too. No, 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 no. In the radiation zone, if you're not careful. If I remember correctly, Arya actually didn't chase him out and he had a chance to get healed up, which was lucky. But I mean, Arya probably played it safe, didn't want to rush out and then get like hit by an off angle from the team or something. We're just going to chop your head right off. Seven I'm nine. sorry. I'm sorry, Alex from Seven Nine. <laughs> but I there you go. Oh, OK. So they didn't catch it on the live broadcast. The reason why Jenny's is out here is because Alex actually got taken out by these monsters and Jenny's had to come out here and get all of the loot. And uh, I don't want to spoil it. Just watch what happens right here. This is what oh, I want to do. Oh. In the radiation zone, if you're not careful, we're just going to chop your head wide off. In the I mean, you have to be careful out here for sure. Especially since they didn't have lead liners. Jenny's running all the way up to the main building. Probably already had him super radiated. So probably wasn't a lot of room for error here. Radiation zone, if you're not careful, we're just going to chop your head wide off. Mad Max actually called that one. That's crazy. With PUBG Mobile dropping Metro Royale Esports globally in 2025, I can't wait to see some of the amazing highlights and funny moments that come in the future. If you're excited for global esports, definitely make sure you hit the like button and check to make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to be covering all of it. Another big shout out to PUBG Mobile Esports for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys want to play Metro Royale inside of PUBG Mobile, make sure you use the link in the description down below to download the game. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.